Okay, last time we learned about this uh, value of the marginal product of labor. And remember, the marginal product is the additional production from each worker, right? So this is important for you to think about as a worker. How productive are you? And it's also important for you to think about as a manager because how productive are your employees, right? And how can we get them to be more productive? We're going to convert that uh, marginal product of labor, or that marginal product, uh, into something uh, tangible. So we're going to do that by multiplying the price of whatever we're uh, selling times the, the productive increase in for, per worker. Okay, and this gives us the value of the marginal product. The formula for that is just price times the marginal product of labor. So let's do an example here. So here I've got uh, five workers. This is an amount of bushels of wheat that they can produce. And uh, let's do the marginal product of labor here. So first worker, that's an additional 1,000. Uh, next worker, an additional 800. Next worker, an additional 600. An additional 400. And an additional 200. Okay, so this is the value of each worker in terms of bushels of wheat. Okay, and we're going to multiply this by the price of each bushel, and this is a perfectly competitive market, okay, an agricultural market times five. So this is going to be 1,000 times five, so $5,000. In other words, this first worker makes us $5,000, okay? Second worker, 800 times five is 4,000, so the second worker makes us $4,000. The next worker uh, makes us $3,000. The next worker makes us $2,000. And finally, the last worker makes us $1,000. Mm -hmm. Okay? And so why do we care about all this? Well, we need yeah. to know how many workers do we hire, right? So remember, this is a perfectly competitive uh, market. So if the wage, economists use W for wage, if the wage is $500, let's see how many workers I'll hire. So first worker brings in $5,000 worth of uh, revenue. Okay, and I pay them $500. And we're in a profit of $4,500, I do hire them. Okay, next worker, pay them $500, and they're going to earn us $4,000. I'm going to hire them. In fact, I'm going to hire all these workers. Okay, it's because the wage is less than the value of that fifth worker, right? Now, if the wage were to go up to, say, $1,200, okay, and this could be per week or whatever, uh, I'm still going to hire these workers, but I'm not going to hire this worker. Okay, at $1,200, this worker is only going to bring in $1,000, and I'm going to pay them uh, $1,200. Okay, so this is the same stuff we already worked out. Okay, and we can graph all this, and this uh, value of the marginal product of labor curve looks a lot like something we've already seen. It, it's a demand curve, and it is a demand curve. It's the demand for workers. Okay, and the supply of workers is just going to depend on the wage, right? So if the wage is $2,500 per week, we just draw that out there, and I'm going to hire three workers because if I hire the fourth worker, I'm going to pay them $2,500, and they're only going to earn me $2,000. Okay, so that's how to that's how to calculate that. Okay, now one thing that we might do here is uh, in order to think about all this is we'll think about our our side by side graph. Okay, that we've drawn before. Okay, should have had these drawn out before. I'm sorry. Okay. That one's a little crooked, but it'll be good enough. Okay, so, um, so the, uh, so this is the industry. Okay, and let's use the wheat. Uh, so this is wheat. There's some kind of world demand and supply. That should be more straight. But that's okay. Okay, so this is world price for wheat. And so then if I'm a wheat farmer or an individual firm, okay, remember this is perfectly competitive, so uh, I have to be a price taker. Okay. And okay, so we've got uh, this is our demand for the firm, this is marginal revenue, and here's our marginal cost. So we're gonna hire this many workers, uh, or sorry, this, I'm sorry, we're going to make this much wheat, and I'm going to hire the workers to produce this much wheat, okay? Uh, and that's going to all be derived from the supply that I choose, which is coming from this market. Now, if, say, the world gets richer, okay, which it is, and the demand for wheat increases, okay, we're going to get this new price 
And the question really is, is this good news or is this bad news for the workers? Okay. So now what's happening here is we've got this higher price. Okay. And now individual farmers are going to going to produce more. The whole market is going to want to produce more because now we're at this Q1 instead of Q star. Okay. And so the world world production has produced has increased. Uh, and since the price went up, this means that the value of the marginal product of labor also went up because this comes from uh, the marginal product of labor times the price. So if the price goes up, this is going to cause a, an increase in the demand for these kind of workers. Okay. So the two things that are going to cause that is getting more productive from the worker side or an increase in price. We've learned about a lot of those reasons.